whiting. See the little teeth on them, look. When we get some bigger ones, we'll do a catch and cook. It's a little bit blustery and cold. We're at the outer Sovereign Harbour today. Don't know if you can see out there, it says five knots max. Uh, there's a little rock that juts out into the main channel. Uh, I've had a top tip, there might be some fish there. Uh, so we'll put the lug, we've also got a lure rod today, into that main channel and see what my friend's been picking out on the fish finder. So we're going to be walking down this bit here, so it turns right. So you can see we're going to be fishing inside the harbour. You can see the difference in the water, can't you? It's flowing a little bit there, but obviously nice, flat and calm inside the harbour. Let's hope the fish agree. I do have the wind blowing right into our face here. A little bit breezier than you think from these pictures, but certainly a lot easier than being out on the main beach. You can see here you've got two green, well it's green and red, to the port and starboard side when they come into the harbour so what that tells me is there might be some boat traffic although on a day like today they'd be mad for it wouldn't they so we're going to cast out into that so i'm going to put it into the main channel Feeling that line, get the idea of the depth. Okay, we're on the bottom. So there might be, the only problem, there might be quite a bit of silt in there, build up. Just about feel if there is with this continental rod. That's mud. I think that's mud. Because the lead, the lead's stuck. So I, a, okay. I think we'll give that a go as it is. Right, got to fashion a rod rest somehow now. The only other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little lure rod, this is a six foot lure rod, um, and actually I'll need some fossil tegra here with a bit of fluorocarbon. I'm just going to try some lures because I know it's December, but you never know. But I will need to tie on uh, the FG knot with the fluorocarbon. We use this on Brighton Marina in this video here. Um, it's the Garmin Fish Finder. I just thought I'd give it a little go just to see because it should be easy enough to bring in and out. Uh, it's tied to the app, so let's have a look at that. I don't really know how to read this sort of fish finder. You see there those dots in the middle. Is that the splash perhaps of it landing? It does give a good idea of depth, I suppose. few diving birds here. Little whiting there. Bit of a novelty as well, being able to cast on somewhere flat. There are little taps on that one. They're a bit maligned, the whiting. They do sort of take over this time of year. You can fish through them, maybe for dab, flounder, even a cod. 
but I think we'll make the most of them today and see if we can turn them into some fish cakes later. What we do need is something a bit bigger though. A bit of wind, but that is having a little tap on there. Nothing on the lure rod and then nothing really on the fish finder. I'm sure it would show fish on there though. got two hooks, so we'll give it a chance. I've just got that whiting as a big dead bait on a big hook uh, for conger or bass. Hopefully, whoo, <laughs> as the wind picks up. Um, hopefully bass, because bringing a conger in on this will be a bit tricky. Um, I know I could get a bass in on that. So yeah, big whiting bait. Of course, I want to set the drag on that. Otherwise, a decent fish will just pull that straight in. A little bit undergunned on that. A little bit of an improvised rod rest there. Is it the flagpole that makes it look like a fish? Or is that a fish? Let's have a look. Whiting, see the little teeth on them. Look, we get some bigger ones, we'll do a catch and cook. You can get your saltwater angler stickers now, just follow that link. What I do need though, after this trip to Pevensey, is a bigger whiting so we've tackled up again headed for Hastings just to see if we can get a few more so I can just show you a real simple way to do these fish cakes so same sort of tactics again off the beach at Hastings they do like the blue sky of the whiting they say crisp autumn days but So we've got the reel in the butt down position there. Just going to do a little practice cast uh, with the, the rig without any lug on it. Um, just to make sure that that line lays all right. There's a little bit of weed on there. Only thing with the reel down this low is Without a reducer, you can actually get a reducer that sticks in the end. It's quite hard to retrieve in. Better for the casting, though. A little inquiry there on the rod nearest to us, a little tap maybe. Let's have a little feel.
there we go, whiting. Don't want to be mean about them. That one's over the 27 centimetres, which is the minimum size for them. I think that'll go quite well if we get a couple more in some fish cakes. Good old whiting. I like you really. With the bigger fish you just need the fillets but we're making fish cakes out of these smaller fish and a sharp blade is obviously a sharp blades what you need uh, you're not going to get the world's best filleter with me here but i'll do my best to show you what to do so you just cut down the cut down the bones here you don't want any bones in it you can take the skin off by hand or use your sharp knife Take the skin off as well. All the water. And to bulk it out, I'm using the potatoes. I just sort of rough cut these, really. With the skins on, save time. So you're going to be mashing these up a bit, just to add a little bit of bulk. Um, And then you want about the same amount of potato as you have fish, but of course you can vary that however you want. I think the thing that stops a lot of people cooking, especially blokes my age, I think a lot of the time is exact measurements. So for me, maybe a spoonful of each of these, a spoonful of capers, a spoonful of the um, Dijon mustard, and horseradish as well. So I'll let these potatoes boil and when they're almost parboiled I'll put the fish in. Sort of rough chop the parsley. Horseradish. Capers. fish in uh, just to quickly cook it. it should only take a couple of minutes quite generous with the butter so what we're going to do we're going to add that fish and we'll let those potatoes cool they're a lot easier to mash up and, um, and bond with everything else put that with the fish there. Uh, and then just roll them in the breadcrumb and then the flour. In case of warming them through, make them nice and crispy. There you go. Well, I'm no Jamie Oliver. Uh, and there's no cheesy pictures of me eating it either, but they do come out quite nice. It just goes to show with a sort of fish like a whiting, not the best of catches, you can actually turn it into something that tastes quite nice. So, thanks very much for watching. 